Hey, it's your boy Crypto Expat back with another video. In this video, we're going to answer a question by Jojo, and this is a question that comes up quite frequently. So, I thought I would make a video of it. So, Jojo says, "I'm paranoid that whichever team runs Atomic Wallet or Exodus Wallet might get shut down. Then what? If I can't pull up either of those wallets," How does a person get their coins? Can't find any instruction anywhere. Everyone just says you can do it if you have your private keys. I'm not a programmer and I have zero idea on how to actually do that, even with private keys. Welcome back to the channel, guys. If you're a new viewer, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification so then you get notified when I upload my videos immediately. Okay, so let's get straight into it. First of all, um, you need to understand that a desktop wallet like Exodus or Atomic, they do not store your crypto in the wallet. So I know new people coming on the crypto space, they think because you have a wallet, you put money in the wallet, then maybe your crypto goes into your wallet no the crypto does not sit in the wallet okay so if you if there's a app or there's a desktop uh, application the crypto is not in that desktop application your crypto is on the blockchain which is a distributed ledger and it basically just keeps tab of how much crypto is in, e in each wallet so your desktop or mobile app like Atomic or Exodus, simply allows you to send and receive crypto securely through their GUI interface. And it just makes it easy, user-friendly, click a couple of buttons, enter a couple of numbers, put the wallet address, click a button, and then you can send the crypto and receive it very easily. So the interface is user-friendly. That's all it is. And it allows you to do it in a secure manner. So by exporting your private keys, you can import into any supporting wallet and you will get access to your crypto again. So it doesn't matter if you download Atomic Wallet on your laptop, your laptop blows up, it melts, it falls off a cliff, it, you drop it in the sea, doesn't matter. You can still recover that crypto if you've got your private keys. And I'm going to show you how to do that now. Okay, in this example, we're going to use Atomic Wallet. You can download the Atomic Wallet at atomicwallet.io. Install it on your desktop and then open up the wallet, create your password, then log in. So now that you're in your Atomic Wallet, what you want to do is you want to back up the wallet and you want to back up each individual cryptocurrency if you think that... Uh, there might be a problem with the Atomic Wallet. So I'll show you what I mean. All you need to do is you just come here and you go to settings. And then you come up the top here and it says private keys. Okay, and you click on that. Enter your password. Now it's going to show all the different private keys to each individual token. Now this top one here, this is your Atomic Wallet private key. Okay, so remember... The Atomic Wallet itself has all these different wallets. This is the password uh, backup phrase for the actual wallet. So again, if you lose the wallet, or something happens to your laptop, you can't recover your laptop, whatever, you just download the wallet again and enter this 12 words sequence and you can just restore, pull up the, your wallet again. Now, if you want to get the actual private keys for the individual tokens the question one of the questions that he asked was what if there's a problem with atomic in the future now there's not likely to be a problem in the future but because these wallets they get commissions every time someone sends what uh, crypto in and out so that it's they're making money every single day and there's 500,000 users for atomic wallet so they're making a lot of money but let's say for example atomic wallet shut down for some reason all you need to do is whatever crypto you put in the wallet, you need to save the private keys for each one. So for example, here, let's just do Ethereum. Okay, here's my Ethereum private key. 
what I would do is I would just copy this, okay, and then I would just store this into uh, on some sort of document, and then I could put it on a USB and just keep that USB safe, uh, encrypted onto a USB, and then put it into like a safe or something, okay. So if anything was to happen to this atomic wallet, I can still pull my Ethereum out, and I'll show you how to do that now. So again, I could just go to another wallet. This is another online wallet. Or you could use a cold storage, like a Ledger or a Trezor. Anything that will allow you to import your private keys for Ethereum. So here, I'm using my Ether wallet. All I would simply do is, hypothetically, let's say I could not recover my atomic wallet. Uh, atomic wallet went bust but I still have my Ethereum private keys then I would just go here and go access my wallet and then I would just come along and say here it says private key so then I would just click on that and then which one do I have I have the private key this one and then I would simply paste my private key there and then access my wallet and now I can just again this is just a window into the blockchain and this is my Ethereum wallet, which is the same Ethereum wallet on my Exodus. Okay, so this wallet here, Ethereum. All I'm simply doing now is I'm viewing this Ethereum wallet through this interface, through it basically another wallet. In this case, it's a online wallet. So, how do you find all the other uh, wallets? Well, each token. Each coin will have their own native token, like the, their own wallet they develop, okay, solely for that uh, actual cryptocurrency, okay. And usually, as well, they'll someone will make a, a decentralized wallet uh, that allows you to import your private keys. Most of these wallets are decentralized anyway, and they, they do allow you to import uh, your private keys. You just have to do your research and find out which one and then you can just import your crypto into the native wallet again so i've already done ethereum there's a bunch of of ethereum wallets out there that will do that um again just type in go to go to google best decentralized ethereum wallet best decentralized bitcoin wallet best decentralized chain link wallet just go down through the numbers all right and do the same procedure Alternatively, you can um, find your private keys on Exodus, and I'll show you how to do that. So Exodus is another desktop wallet. Uh, this one's been around longer than Atomic Wallet, and I do like this wallet. I've been using this for you know, three or four years now, and um, I do like this one as well. The fees are a little bit expensive, but um, each to their own. So you just go then, you just go download the wallet to your desktop and let's just log in here now. So now I'm in my Exodus wallet and all I need to do to get my private keys is uh, first of all I can back up the whole wallet. Alright, again, you're backing up the whole wallet and to do that you just simply, you just click on this wallet here. Okay, you just click on this up the top right it's got this cog that says settings click on that and then when you come up here the one two three four fifth one across is back up and then what you need to do is you can either reset your email or you can um, get your secret key I recommend you do the secret phrase okay so this phrase will basically be a 10 word sequence and then you can restore the actual wallet at any time that only restores the wallet but again there's a question that he had was what if exodus goes out of business it's not likely they will but let's just say they do well all you need to do is just go into your wallet and for example this one here it's btc all you need to do is come over here on every token they have and then just click on this little three little dots here on the right hand side and then you'll have options and then you'll see view private keys all right so this is the private keys to bitcoin i can now use these private keys and 
I can basically use any Bitcoin wallet that allows me to import the private keys and then I will be able to again view that Bitcoin I'll have control over it because I have the private keys alright so when you when you save your private keys just write it down again put it on a notepad put it on a encrypted put it on to a secure USB and, and encrypt that uh, but just keep it somewhere safe anyone who has your private keys can steal your crypto okay okay so I've hoped I've explained it and I would suggest I would highly encourage you in fact to back up your passphrase for if you're using Exodus or if you're using Atomic to do it right now because if you don't you'll lose your crypto or you can go into the individual coins themselves and take the private keys and keep them safe in case anything was ha was to happen to Atomic or Exodus. All right, guys. If you have any more questions, let me know below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click that notification button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Are you new to crypto and DeFi? You're not sure how to navigate to the scams and keep away from the sharks trying to steal your crypto. This space can be very daunting for newbies. That's why we created 100xcryptoacademy.com. This is not just a course on DeFi, yield farming, and investing. But a real community of like-minded crypto enthusiasts who believe crypto is the key to financial freedom. You'll get 50 plus HD on-demand videos, ongoing research analysis and pre-screen, ICO and pre-sales, four weekly webinars per month, with live Q&A, private access to our exclusive forum, and our vibrant Telegram group for live chat and updates. All for a low monthly investment. Check out our Patreon at 100xcryptoacademy.com.